this um, asshole. He's served more jail time than he probably would if he gets convicted. Uh, we'll just give him a uh, Debbie. Right. So can go on his way. Thank you, Deborah. That's a blessing. Sweet, wonderful Debbie. Blessing to you for the new year from the county prosecutor's office. Oh, I appreciate yeah. it. Um, although you haven't really done anything to get this squared away. So where you are after today, you're going to be square with me. I'm going to give you five days jail credit, use your bond to pay your fine and cost. And then you're going to get $775 back. You need to go to the Michigan secretary of state. And uh, what was the short about Johnny May? Or are they doing walk-ins now? They do walk-ins, but you go take a number. For example, if you try to walk in in Kalamazoo, you probably wait a long time. And she always went out to like, what is it, uh, outskirts of Pawpaw or like the smaller towns? Oh, yeah, every there's there is one in Pawpaw, there's one in Dowajak, there are several in Kalamazoo. The one in St. Joe County is in Sturgis. Um, but you need to go in there and see JD figure, figure it out. Now, who who brought you here? A friend of mine. All right, what's her name? Her name? Yeah, her name. Uh, I'm drawing a blank right now. I'm sorry. Uh, Randy. Right. All right. What kind of car is she in? It's a black Audi. It's okay. Out in the parking lot. Right okay. Now. Yes, it is. All right. Let's well. just claw that back there a little bit. Um. This is some great fucking, this is fantastic lying here. So he's like, uh, how'd you get here today? Uh, a friend. And what's your friend's name? Um, I'm drawing a blank. You're drawing a blank on the friend who just drove you here. Think about that now for a minute, right? So, hey, friend, uh, I need you to, I need you to come and drop me to court. Okay, no problem. So they go, they come and they drop you to court and you don't remember their name. And then you come up with the, like, like, let's face it. Come on. Brandy. Uh, I, I can't remember. Uh, Brandy. Me thinks that might be a fib. Me thinks you might be fibbing, but, uh, we'll see if he gets caught. Shall we? Uh, <laughs> fucking hell. Imagine drawing a blank on that. I mean, come on. All right. What's her name? Her name? Yeah, her name. Uh, I'm drawing a blank right now. I'm sorry. Uh, Randy. Right. All right. What kind of car is she in? It's a black Audi. <laughs> it's out in the parking lot right now. Yes, it is. All right. We'll confirm that. I uh, I suggest uh, you ask him that question again. Let's start looking at the camera. He drove himself in this morning. She was getting tired close by, so. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> what a fantastic excuse. Ah, uh, she was getting tired close by. Well, I'm I guarantee. <clears throat> I guarantee it was a really short spin. Oh, she was uh she was getting tired close by. How about you just fibbing? God damn. Uh, you asked him that question again. Because I looked at the camera. He drove himself in this morning. She was getting tired close by, so <laughs> love how he's mocking him. I asked her last minute to bring me. Is she in the car right now? Yes, she is. All right. Go get her. Ask her to come in. Ooh, woo. You're an idiot. <laughs> um, didn't want to miss another date. And... Well, so you then you lied. You didn't want to. <laughs> Heesh. Um, this is brilliant. I'm loving this. This is very foolish, and, and I was insulted, and it hurts my feelings when people lie to me. So you looked me in the eye and lied to me about driving here, which I suspected you had when you first walked in late. Um, Deborah, is that have an effect on your plea offer it just is what it is it, you're it, it is what it is um, i know it's dumb but I'm just trying to get it taken care of all right you already did five days jail you're not trying to get everything taken care of you're doing it all the wrong way deborah i'm not going to hang you up here thank you for your help Very well. <laughs> all right
Uh, good morning. Which case are you folks here on? Real quick, in Ireland, that's what we call being caught by the balls. Um, we're caught rot. Oh, are you Tom? Yeah. Oh, well, welcome. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, Tom. Good morning. Morning, Tom. Uh, this is Miss Davis from the prosecutor's office. Ah, uh, Debbie. And Sweet, this lovely is Debbie. This Matea from the public defender right. office. And we've got our brand new court officer, Vincent, here. Welcome to the He's party, Vince. Happy to be here. Good on you, Vince. Good on but you, bud. We're just about done with the morning. All right. Five days jail credit, five days. First of all, I better do the plea. You acknowledge that you were driving a car here in St. Joe County on May 4th of 2023. It's the same guy. Yes. And uh, yeah. did anyone threaten you to get you to plead to this charge? No. Or promise you anything? No. $225. Good morning. Hi. Uh, Let's be here in a brand new. What's your name? My name is Randy Brown. Oh, Randy, Randy, do you have a valid driver's license? I do. <laughs> um, according to Mr. Bray, you were going to drive him here, and then he foolishly drove himself here. Let me see your valid driver's it's, license. It's in the car. All right. Well, I guess I'll take it on faith. Um, why did he drive? Um, because he knew the way here. Ah, the plot, much like the custard that I accidentally left on the hob out there, thickens. So you got to know the way to the jail. But Ooh. why bring a licensed driver if you're going to drive illegally anyway? But will you drive back? Yes, I will. So not only did he lie about not driving there, he followed that up by lying about why he took over the driving. All right. I don't think she would let me drive. Yeah. Uh, go ahead she meant to drive seat. on the fucking way here, didn't she? All right. I don't think Genius. she would let me drive. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and have a seat. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. Um, so basically, Where was she allowed an unlicensed driver? Yeah, that's what I charged. So she's committed a crime. He's committed a crime. Crimes for everybody. Less you get a crime, and you get a crime. In the year. That's we're spot. just going. Sin no more. Um, Well, you already did five days in jail, and just because I'm irked is not a reason to put somebody in jail. But you're you're foolish. I tend to believe you're not going to do anything that you need to do to get your driver's license back. You're going to keep bumbling along and keep getting stopped. Yep. You got to go to the Secretary of State and make an appointment for a driver license review. They set you an appointment. Now, one thing you could do when you go to the Secretary of State is change your address on your driver's license. If you are living at Alpine, uh, at least you can get your mail from the Secretary of State. So you need to go in there, if nothing more, to change your address. Also, Excuse me. when you move, you can no longer easily change your mailing address. I had a visitor this summer who was a postmistress, postmaster. Take care, boss. Anyway, she was a postmaster in uh, Pennsylvania, I think. My arm is still sore from what I anyway, did the other day. She informed me in order to change your address at the post office you have to go in twice you have to go in and get the form you have to fill love you judge but nobody cares a uh, really good point from the gnome state alaska off-grid gnome says uh he knew the way but couldn't tell her from the passenger seat totally impossible because he's sitting on the wrong side of the car i hadn't even thought of that that's actually a really good point like okay he knew the way there like yeah you should just turn left and then what she just drives off a cliff is that how that works 
It's a really, really good point. I had not thought of that. Well, I'll bring it. But it's even harder with you're going to go out to the counter and they're going to give you some money back. And you should use it to pay any unpaid tickets that you have. Now, what you said is you have a repayment plan. Or, no, man, that was the last guy. Do you have Do you have any unpaid tickets anywhere else? Um, I think two. Well, the Secretary of State may be able to tell you that. Thanks. Okay, thanks. All right, you take him. Oh, just print one for me. Okay. You, you lied to me and you didn't apologize, so you don't come back. You got a year-end Christmas, New Year's special deal. You lied to me and you didn't apologize, so you can just go and not come back here anymore. I plan not to. Oh, you will. Thank you. Oh, you better pick up that lady because she might not be able to find her way to the door. Unreal. The audacity to go in there and lie like that. I saw one as well here earlier that was kind of kind of funny. This one. Not funny, funny, but like he called her a pain in the neck. Um I can't remember why. I think it's because she just kept not turning up. And while I play this, I'm just going to run out and get a coffee. All right. Good morning, Matea. Good, good morning. morning. Judge. 